Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. I'm your host Guillermo. It is August 9th. Hope you're all having a great day today. As you can see, it is a green day for me. Up $840 today or about 0.75%. Small cap stocks finally having a really green day. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Now in today's video, I don't want to talk about Robinhood. I want to talk about Webull. More importantly, how to close an options trade on Webull. I've mentioned before that I would make a video on this and I actually have to close one of my options for something very important. And I also want to talk about the 2K small account challenge that I'll also be starting on there as well. So before I get into that, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe, guys. It really helps out the channel. Now, a couple of things, guys. Again, I always recommend having multiple brokers. I use Robinhood, I'm using Webull a lot more now, I'm also using Fidelity. It's just very convenient, there's a lot of more benefits that you can have, uh, for example, more day trades, uh, you know, if there's technical difficulties on one broker, you still have, you know, a couple of other ones to go do your trades on. Uh, the other reason I really like Webull, of course, is extended hours. Uh, so you can trade uh, pre-market hours, which would be 4 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and after hours, which is 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So you can get into a stock before the rest of the crowd does uh, the next day when the market opens. So again, Webull has extended hours, something that, for example, Robinhood doesn't have. So again, it's, I think, very important to have multiple brokers. And so if you haven't signed up to Webull, I definitely recommend it. I'll put a link to it in the description below. If you sign up using the link, you will receive two stocks valued up to $2,000. So definitely check out the link again in the description below. So now after you've signed up, you go to Webull.com. This is what you will see here. So what we need to do is we need to click on this link right here that says trade. This will actually take us to their trading platform here. Uh, so this is what you will see here. Uh, so this is the trade tab, as you can see here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my portfolio here. So you guys will actually be able to see my portfolio and see uh, kind of what I have right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on the account icon here. Uh, so as you can see, if you hover over it, it says account. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, so I have this extra added protection here extra layer of protection just to kind of, uh, you know, make sure that if someone were to get into my account, uh, they have to also go through this. So I definitely recommend setting this up. So let's go ahead uh, and I'll put my password in there. And then you can actually finally see my account here. So this is what I'm holding. Uh, and let me just quickly explain this to you guys. This is the first time I've actually shown this here. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, on the top left shows you my net account value, which is about $2,651. Uh, then it below it, it does show my buying power. So I do have $276 in my buying power, uh, and I'll explain why here in a second. Uh, but then you can go into kind of the main section here, which is my positions and kind of my progress here. Uh, so for example, daily profit and loss, I'm up $163 on the day. Uh, you can switch this to be weekly. Of course, it's going to be the same. You know, monthly, it's going to say 814 Over here, it's got your profit and loss from a percentage standpoint. So in the month, 111%. Uh, you know, again, you can switch this to whatever you want. But again, ultimately, I will be, uh, you know, using this a lot more here. Uh, but if we go down here, we can actually see the positions I'm in. So I do have a few free stocks I've obtained. Uh, these two are free stocks here. I purchased two shares of GM here, as you can see. Uh, and then if we take a look here, uh, I sold a put on skills uh, because I did think that, you know, skills had been way oversold. Uh, and I did this last Friday, and as you can see, I'm already up quite a bit, $32. Uh, and then I also, of course, purchased 100 shares of PaySafe. Uh, again, I think PaySafe is also undervalued. I do think we'll see a run-up. They do have earnings coming up here, so we might see a run-up for earnings. Uh, but of course, I purchased 100 shares, immediately solely covered call on it as well. Uh, but ultimately, these are my positions right now on Webull. And again... I will be updating you guys a lot more uh, going in the future on what my positions here are. But anyways, uh, the, the, the point here is that uh, I want to show you guys more advanced strategies like credit spreads, debit spreads. However, I need to have a margin account on Webull. 
to be able to uh, show you guys those types of strategies. So I need to convert my cash account into a margin account. Unfortunately for me to do that, I can't have any uh, open option positions. Uh, so I need to close all of the options that I have, which of course will include the put I sold on skills and this call that I sold on PaySafe. And so I figured, well, if I'm gonna close out of my trades here, I might as well make a video and show you guys how you would do that. So let's go ahead and actually get into that now here. So remember that in order to close out of any options trade, you need to do the exact opposite of what you originally did. Meaning that if you sold something, you need to go ahead and now buy that exact same thing. Or if you bought something, you need to go ahead and sell that exact same thing. And by same thing, I mean same expiration date, same strike prices, same types, right? If it was a put, it needs to still be a put. If it was a call, it still needs to be a call. So for example, if we take a look at my skills one, I sold a put here. And we can actually take a look here uh, at what this looks like. Uh, if we go ahead and click on this little three drops here, view order details, this will tell me that I sold a put uh, on skills uh, expiring August 13th, 2021. And this was at the $12 strike. And it tells me the side, this was a sell. So I sold a put here on skills expiring August 13th at the $12 strike, I received 47 cents per share. Remember there's 100 shares in each contract, so I received $47 for selling this put. And if we take a look down here, I'm already up $32. So in order to close this, what we can do is we can hover over this again. And again, we're gonna click on this little icon here. And the other, uh, the other thing on here is close order. So we're gonna click on that. And so we take a look here, what happens now is that this automatically populates the exact same trade that you entered, right? Because if we take a look up here, what is this telling me? This is the option for skills at the $12 strike expiring August 13th, 2021. And this is a put here. So this is the exact same trade, which is again what we want, but we want to do the exact same opposite. So instead of selling this put to close out of this trade, we now need to buy this exact same put. If I had instead of bought a put, I would have had to go ahead and instead of buying, sell that exact same put, right? So I'm gonna leave this as buy because now I wanna buy this. I wanna buy to close it. I sold to open, now I need to buy to close. So let's take a look here. So we have order type and there's a couple of different options here, right? There's limit, there's market, there's stop, there's stop limit. I've made a separate video where I go over all of these. Uh, usually I keep it as limit. And so remember with limit, uh, it actually tells you here what it is as well. If you hover over this icon, limit order is to buy or sell stocks when the market price reaches a specific price or better. So limit orders help to lock down profits, but do not guarantee execution. So again, I like you doing limit because, you know, for example, if I leave it like this, uh, I will not walk, I will walk away with at least $20. It's not going to sell it for anything, or I'm not going to have to pay more than it, more than $20 for this. That's the most I'd have to pay by having 0.2 here, right? Versus if you do market, for example, this is just going to execute at basically the best price they can find. So you may have to end up paying $25, $30, right? With limit, you have a little bit more control over what's the most you want to pay to close out of this. Uh, and then of course over here contracts how many contracts do you want to buy uh, so of course we only have one we only sold one put so i would leave this as one and then we get to the limit price so what how much do i want to pay to close out of this and we take a look here we see the bid is 0.1 the ask is 0.2 so i'm going to try to go in the middle here and i'm going to do 0.15 here uh, and see if that goes through so limit price 0.15 uh, and then of course, uh, there's this time and force, which I don't really worry too much about. So now you would go ahead and you would place your order here. So again, basically, um, a bind to close out of this. This is a limit order and I put in a 0.15 limit price, meaning that the most I'll pay for this is $15. Uh, and I'm going to pay $15 to close out of it. Again, I received $47, uh, when I sold this put, so I'm making a pretty great profit here. 
Uh, but again, I do have to close out of my options here to convert this over to a uh, margin account so that I can show you guys how to use debit spreads, credit spreads, and so that I myself can use them to grow my small account here. So let's go ahead and place the order here. Uh, and then it'll tell you, hey, order confirmation. Just quickly check here, make sure everything looks uh, correct. And it does to me. And then I'll go ahead and buy it, submit successfully. Uh, and then as you can see, it is now gone. It looks like it did close it out for me. Uh, and I can just quickly refresh this here and see to make sure that it's no longer there. So again, let's unlock this. Uh, and let's go ahead and see here. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it's no longer there. As you can see, my buying power just increased because it just released the collateral that it had taken uh, in order to uh, allow me to sell that put. Remember, every time you sell a put, it locks in collateral in case you do need to have uh, you need, do need to buy 100 shares of that stock. And since I had sold a put on skills at the $12 strike, yeah, uh, it took $1,200 in collateral from me, and it just released that to me right now once I've closed out of that. So anyways, that is how you close an options trade on Weevil. Again, very important that you know how to close an options trade. Make sure that you always know how to close one before you enter it. Uh, and if you have any other questions, uh, you can definitely leave them in the comments section below. And again, as far as the small account challenge goes, uh, I'm going to see how quick I can grow this account. Again, I'm going to be probably using half of my money selling options on cheaper stocks. Uh, I am going to want to start using a lot more credit debit spread as well. Uh, and then, of course, I will also have uh, some short swing stock plays as well. Uh, for example, I've, you know, I, I, I used micro, uh, MicroVast, ChargePoint, SoFi. Those are a couple of stocks I've purchased in the last few weeks on my Wa uh, Weevil account uh, that I've been growing my account steadily. So anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord, link to that in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.